Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarafil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah. Yesterday I have given you the idea of how the great scholarship of the ummah changed this world and how the ancient civilization uh, of the dark ages of Europe became the civilization of the 14th, 15th century and today is the 21st century all because of the great effort of the scholars, the teachers and the ummah as a whole so what I want to give an idea today is another area especially for you, the tran this transforming generation, the millennials you those born in the 90s all right now you are a young man your life is right in front of you and inshallah you can do something great but what is important is for you inshallah to remember this wake up every day with a determination to change this is very important if you don't have determination to change then you will not have any vision in life and 99.999 percent of human beings in this world they will have no vision they just go through the motion of eating, sleeping, waking up, having children and then dying with no vision of what they need to do every day so I want to tell you that inshallah if you understand your purpose and meaning in life you must first fix your vision and we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has endowed us with that vision it's not a vision that I give you that you must do it it is ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has created this species called the human being the Bani Adam who is going to be his Khalifa on this earth who is going to be the agent of change on this earth towards positive development of human society towards uh, achieving great success in this world and great success in the hereafter glorifying Allah realizing his greatness and glory so that is a vision that every Muslim must have at a macro level but naturally at our level at every point in our life we must have this determination to change to become better every day so every day we ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us good to make us better uh, to receive the best to, we ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to receive the best to fulfill the best and be the best in whatever area of competency that we seek to achieve so every day we wake up we must have that little spark that fire in you don't wake up logically going through life half dead because a person who is half dead might as well be dead because life is motion we have to do something with the energy that Allah has given us that energy can be directed towards positive energy that we achieve success or negative energy in which we follow our nafs our nafs al-ammara and we just float around in this life like a flotsam in the ocean just a flotsam just floating around whichever the current bring it just float around and it just hit the uh, cliff and just stuck on the cliff and there is nothing left for that person so what is important is there are a few things that I want to give as a tip to you one is remember when you realize yourself as a khalifa of Allah you then implement that mission in whatever capacity that you can naturally we must have a great dream a big dream inshallah I have a great dream a big dream I'm a slum kid born from a very poor family and often very young in life I go through my education system by struggling very very hard so the first thing is you got to struggle to get whatever your qualification that you require whether it is a diploma or a degree so constant struggle and hard work is part and parcel of life is part and parcel of the joy of life so if life is just not just uh, sitting around doing nothing then that is not life life is a constant struggle and Allah has ordained for you to succeed then you must work very hard so you struggle to achieve whatever that you dream of you struggle to achieve for example your dream to become an engineer you work and become an engineer you struggle in your dream to become after an engineer you want to become your own uh, company setting up a high-tech company using all your engineering skills uh, or whatever that you wish or desire to be as long as positive is good so there are many many choice that you have in this world today you can be a counselor in positive psychology you can be an engineer you can be a social 
worker, you can be a social scientist, you can be a art specialist, you can be a teacher, you can be anything and anything that you dream, inshallah, it can be manifested provided you take the step towards visualizing that dream every day. So inshallah, for example, I'm trying to do this post-Islamic psychology series of work. Alhamdulillah, after years of struggle, having the manuscript from the late Professor Muhammad Mani Jenkins before he passed away, he gave me the manuscript and I'm not a professional psychologist, but I try my level best. Learn all about psychology and become good at it. Put one hour, two hours a day until I become so good with it. And Alhamdulillah, I can transcribe this material and become post-Islamic psychology a transcendent model to achieve peace and happiness in the 21st century. So this is a big vision that I hope to, to do in the last phase of my life. Inshallah, if Allah gives me 10 good years of struggle, I will struggle, inshallah, until my last breath, until my life, dying days, with the determination that, inshallah, I'm trying to do something good to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nobody else. So that determination, each time I wake up in the morning, it gives me the impetus, the strength, the desire for example, making this recording, it only takes 10 minutes a day and if one day I can do one or two recordings, it's only 20 minutes a day. What is 20 minutes a day of the whole 24 hours a day? Naturally, you've got to do research, studies and so on. But that gives you the material for you, inshallah. The second book will be on being achievers in life. So I'm addressing this whole aspect of this new book towards the millennial and the transforming generation of the ummah. Why? I'm only interested in the Ummah because we have 1.7 billion Muslims, we have 700 young millennials who is going to face life. They need some sort of mentorship, some sort of guidance and inshallah, if you see my video, spread it around. Maybe now I only have one or two or three views, doesn't matter. It does not matter if that, for example, for all that you do, finally there's nobody who cares, surely. Because if you struggle, you do work hard, there's bound to be the opposing forces, the forces uh, that will try to bring you down. Uh, anything good that you do, even for example, you want to start a business, maybe the closest friend, your family, your members and so on say, oh, you want to go and do business? You go bankrupt with it? So it dampens your motivation, dampens your determination. In the end, you just become a worker. You never, never became what you want to be. So it's always the struggle. Every force, there'll be a counter force. That is the fitrah, sunnatullah. Every good that you do, you will have to counter the evil forces that is going to dampen your effort. But that's not matter. Even uh, if I struggle and only there'll be only two views in my video for the next 50 years, so what? I'm here not to please you. I'm here to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But maybe 50 years later, there'll be a million or two million, a billion views. It is all willed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when Allah opened the floodgate of success, nobody can stop you. You will succeed because Allah opened the floodgate. He is the opener. He's the Al-Fatah. He opens the gate. When that gate opens, you will see people coming eh, in droves towards Islam, which has happened in the history of Islam. That's why we have uh, this surah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَتْحُ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجًا فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَاسْتَوْفِرْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ تَوَّابًا People coming in droves. Huh? The door that Allah opened, the fat that Allah opened. Ya Allah, Ya Fatak, Fatah. He opens that gate. When He opens that gate, you will see people coming in droves, not because of self encouragement Inshallah, this effort of positive time psychology, the seed of it planted by the late Professor Muhammad Mandi Jenkins. A, a staunch atheist who became a Muslim, sacrificed his whole life for 20 years. He gave up everything, his professorship, his life, and lead a simple life of developing the material for the Khalifa method and the material for this book, Positive Islamic Psychology. And Allah has ordained that he's going to live a short life. All right? But before he leave, he passed on this message. And he says to me, don't worry. Even if you do and nobody cares, you just keep on doing because when the message, the time has come, it will just bloom. So don't worry. It may not be that this effort of trying to strive to develop a strong 
ummah, these millennials with the foresight, with the thinking, with the vision, with the mission to achieve the best, to fulfill the best, receive the best, is not received by many people. But there will be some people somewhere, somehow aligning themselves to you and you nurture them. And inshallah, through our positive Islamic psychology counselors training program, our uh, coach training program, we will then develop these people. And they will then pass on this message to their friends. And maybe they may die passing on that message. They will then pass on to their friends, friends, and the next generation, and the next generation, and the next generation, until when Allah or then the full flowering of the message of goodness will then bloom. And then we can say, wow, that person so and so has done a good job. So they, when we say wow to the great works of all the scholars of Islam from Ibn al-Qayyim to Al-Imam Ghazari rahimahullah, and all the scholars, we can marvel at their great sacrifice, their great hard work, their productivity, their quality of humanity, the message, positive message they try to bring, uh, the substance of Islam that they try to bring. This is where we have to really realize that our purpose and meaning in life is coming first to understand our vision and then struggle and work hard every day. And every day you will have new challenges. So what you do is take a small bite because every day you do something small. You have your big picture, every day you do something small because they say a journey of thousand miles begins with the first step. So you don't take only the first step and stop. Every day you take one step, ten steps, twenty steps, hundred steps. When you are strong, you go for a thousand steps. Finally, you reach your destination. But remember, when you journey for the thousand miles, you must always have that direction. The direction is always that you are the Caliph of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has created you. He has put you on this path to realize His grandeur and glory. You follow that path as ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The message that was sent to our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the tabi'in, tabi tabi'in, all the great scholars of Islam from Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, Imam Hanbali, Imam uh, Hanafi, and all the great scholars until today. Each of them striving in their own little ways or in their big ways spreading this message of Islam. So it is our duty and inshallah, Allah has ordained about this, this life for me to do this work and inshallah, I'll try my level best to reach out to you, you the millennial generation, the younger generation of Islam, the 700 million of you, think, think, think how you can be the best, fulfill your life to be the best, and receive the best from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as his caliph on this earth.